Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create a dynamic chart so that the data points get highlighted when you click on these buttons. So in this case I have these three line series on this chart and when I click on these buttons, say if I click on 2013 then the data for 2013 gets highlighted with these markers and the data labels and also this button gets highlighted. Similarly, if I click on 2014 or 2015, then the respective data gets highlighted. Now let me show you how to create this from scratch. So I would have a new workbook here and I already have the data in it. So let's start with this. First, I would select this entire data. I would go to insert and here I would insert a line chart with marker. And as soon as I do this, you can see that now I have these three lines plotted on this chart. Now, I would insert those shapes, those buttons. So to do that, I would go to insert and here within illustrations shapes, I have this rectangle, rounded rectangle. So here I would insert this and I would simply type 2013 within it. And I can also center line it. Now I would do the same for, uh, for the remaining two buttons. So I would copy this, control D to duplicate it. I would simply place it here and again, control D. And I can change the text within this. So this would become 2014 and this would become 2015. Now, what I need to do is I need to create another series that I would plot in this chart. And when I click on those buttons, that series changes and accordingly the highlight changes so let me show you what I mean by this here I would type 2013 you can type any number you can also type 2014 if you want and we would create a formula so that whenever this value changes the series of this year gets extracted here so to do that I would simply use an index formula and this would be my array I would press F4 to lock it and now in row number I simply want this to get me the first value and when I when this goes down it should be the second value and third value and so on so I would use the rows formula and here I would simply lock the first E3 first reference which means that now this gives me the number of rows between this reference which is 1 but when it goes down this would become E3 is to E4 so it would give me two rows because there are two rows between the reference and in column number I would use the match formula and here my lookup value would be this year I would press F4 to lock it my lookup array here would be these B2 to D2 and I would again press F4 to lock this and the match type would be 0 which means that I'm looking for an exact match what this does is it would find the position of this year in this series in these these three which is the second for 2014 if this is 2013 this would return one in this case it would return two you can also select this part of the formula and press F9 to see what is the result and it results to as expected now I would close this and press enter and this gives me 0.22 which is this value which is 22 percent I can simply now drag this down for all the quarters so now I have these numbers here and all I need to do is I would have these numbers selected I would press control C come to this chart and press control V and as soon as I do this you can see that this line color has changed let me show you again I press control Z as of now it's orange but as soon as I come here I press control C and I select this chart and paste see what happens to this orange color line it turns yellow the reason being that I have added another series which has the same values as this series so as of now you cannot see it but there are two lines that are plotted here one is the orange line which is below the yellow line now I would simply select this line right click and go to format data series and here in format data series pane I would say that the line color should be no line color because I don't need a line color I do need the markers so I would go to marker and I would customize these within marker options I would go to built in and here I already want the uh, round shapes it's already selected if you want you can select another shape and I would change the size to 15 now again you can change the size according to your chart but when I do this you can see that now the size of the marker has increased 
I would come here and I would say no fill I don't want a fill for the marker but I do need a border and the color here should be red again this is something that I've decided you can choose another color if you want and I would increase the width because I want this to be prominent when I'm clicking on these buttons this highlight should be prominent so now this is 1.25 the width so that these rounds these circles are prominent and I would change the dash type to this one so that now you can see that these are highlighted if you want you can change the dash type so here I would choose another one so that it looks even better I would select this one now you can see that when I change the value here so when I make it say 2013 you would see that these markers would change because now these values change and the plotting has changed here it is plotted on 2013 series and the markers are highlighted I can also right click and add data labels here and since these are uh, numeric values I can convert these into percentages again right click go to format data labels and here in number I would select percentage with maybe just one decimal place and I can give it a bold font format along with say this color so now you can see that when I change this to say 2014 this would change the highlights change the data labels change and now 2014 series is highlighted now the next step here is to somehow enable these buttons so that when I click on this button this value would change the color would change and automatically the chart would get updated so to do that I would select first uh, one of these uh, rounded rectangles and I would go to this name box and here I would name it 2013 similarly I would do this for all these rectangles I would make it 2014 and 2015 again these are uh, the names that I've selected if you have some other series other name then you can uh, name them accordingly now when I have named these rectangles I need to put a VBA code in the back end so I already have the code here so let me copy this code and I would press alt F11 this is the shortcut to open VB editor you can also go back to this worksheet here and you can also right click and go to uh, view code and again it will open the same thing now here this is the project I'm working on which is book one and to insert my code I would first need to insert a module so I would click on go to insert click on module and there you can see that it has inserted a module here I would simply come here and paste the code and you can see that now there these codes are are in place and there is this divider between the codes and just to go through one of the codes quickly it says sub select year 2013 so this is the code that I would assign to 2013 button and it says range f2 dot value is equal to 2013 what it does is when this code is run the value of this cell becomes 2013 which means that now when I would assign this code to this button and I would click on it this value would automatically become 2013 and along with it I'm also changing the colors of the three shapes here so I'm saying active sheet dot shapes 2013 which is the name of the shape dot fill dot four color dot RGB now these are the properties of these sh this shape and what it does is it's saying in this shape fill it with a four color and the RGB value is this now I, I did some hit and trial and, and came up with this value you can again do some hit and trial and come up with the required color and in other cases I have said the RGB value should be 255 255 255 which in turn means that it should be white in color now what it would do is when I run this code 2013 value would go into F2 2013 box would become uh, gray in color and the remaining box would be white in color and in case you click on 2014 button then the same thing happens but in cell F2 the value becomes 2014 2014 box becomes gray in color and the remaining two are white in color so now let me go back and assign these macros so I would right click on the button go to assign macro and here I would simply uh, let me select this book one and here I would select 2013 select here 2013 as the macro for this button I would simply again do the same thing for others as well to 2014 for this and 2015 for this 
Now see what happens when I click on 2013. This box get highlighted, all the remaining two boxes are now white and the value here changes to 2013 and accordingly uh, the highlight here changes, the marker now is on 2013 line. Similarly if I click on this one you can see 2014 is highlighted, the marker changes, the value changes. You can also format this a little, little bit so that your uh, text color is visible at all times so maybe make it uh, this color. I can repeat it for all these and I can also give it a bold font format. So now whenever you click on any of these buttons you can see that these are getting highlighted, the buttons are highlighted, the marker highlight changes based on what year you have selected and the value here changes. So this is how you can create a dynamic chart where you can highlight the selected series with a click of a button. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.